Oh, what a putt by Max Grazerman for a birdie on 17. And he's back in a tie for the lead at minus two. Boy, does that look good. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Stay there. Big putt here now for Max. He's still tied with John Vesh for the lead at minus two. This putt is for Birdie on the 18th. Go, go, go. Yes! Oh! Yes! And he drops it in for Birdie on the 18th <laughs> to finish minus three. What a round for Max Grazerman. Birdie's on 10, 11, 14, 17, and 18. John Vetch had checked the leaderboard and he knew he needed birdie on the final hole to tie for the championship and force a playoff. Luke Feehan just birdied this hole about half an hour ago with a great approach shot, then sank the eight foot putt. Now let's see what he can do here in sudden death. Oh, and that'll spin back. Let's see how close that gets. Oh, and it'll hold up. Nice shot. Oh, oh, he drops it. Oh. This guy's hot. He's now at 10 under with a clear lead with only two holes left. Yeah. Tyler Hall can basically hoist the trophy now. He's at minus 10 with a five stroke lead. After birdies on 14, 15, and 16. And now he sees himself sitting pretty in the fairway on 17 with a short wedge in. And he's got another one. Four birdies in a row for Tyler Hall. And he's now at minus 11, six shots ahead of anyone else. What a performance on this back nine. So after bogeys on six and seven, it was getting close there between you and Max. How did you turn it around with two birdies on eight and nine? Uh, I just stayed my focus. I mean, to, to get wrapped up in it too early on the front nine is uh, kind of the kiss of death. So, um, you know, I've been in the position before and I knew that I had some birdies in me, so just kind of stayed the course. And now you had four birdies in a row on the back nine. What was that feeling like? How was it flowing out there? Yeah, I had, uh, I made that birdie there on 14.